you know, this isn't to scare you guys. It's to make you aware that it's so important and more than ever right now to really take your health into your hands. Like it's in your control. So today we're doing something a little different. We are going to be talking about Anthony William, the medical medium, his latest podcast series. And today we're going to be talking about his first episode. And this is a little different than his, his uh, radio show he used to do because that was censored. Mm -hmm. This is totally uncensored. And he's sharing some pretty cool information. Yeah, it's pretty mind-blowing. So what we're going to do is just give you guys a little quick snippets from it and give you our thoughts on everything. Um, yeah, and then you're, you guys are going to have to go and listen to this for yourself. Yeah. So you it, get the full, the we, full scoop. You want to get the full scoop. Yeah, so the first episode was about the streaks in the sky that you might see or maybe you haven't even noticed it before and that's something that we have known that is potentially harmful for us but in this episode he reveals this information that's just like whoa mm -hmm. and like we couldn't believe it yeah so we're gonna go through the different stuff he talked about in this podcast but you're gonna have to go find the podcast for yourself and it's very easy to find. I think you can get it on, on Apple Podcasts. You can get it on your Android device. So anybody and everybody can find this podcast, get a hold of it, download it if you need to download it, and give it a listen to. We're going to run you through just, you know, our thoughts and reactions to some of this stuff. So let's get going. So I remember you kind of pointing out these streaks in the sky to me, I don't know, five years ago, mm -hmm. four years ago, something like that. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's kind of weird. I guess that's not normal. And then as the years went on, I would see it more and more and you would fill me in on information. All these are, you know, they're spraying in the sky, it's heavy metals, they're trying to change the weather, mm -hmm. they're, you know, potentially dropping poisons on us. The two different types that you'll see is there's the contrails, which yeah. is from a regular airplane, and that's a, a streak that will slowly disappear. And that's that's caused by the, the heat of the engine. Mm -hmm. The higher you go up in elevation, the colder it gets. Right. So as the plane gets higher up, that heat caused by the engine burning and the fuel burning causes that streak but yeah it, it dissipates it right disappears yeah and then the other streaks in the sky those will go and sit there for a long while yeah they don't really dissipate right away not right away yeah, so they sit there that's the difference of when you look in the sky and you can tell and they even have trails up here check this out it's kind of a windy day so trails everywhere today up here so can't get away from them so yeah anthony explains that during world war one this is kind of when the chemical revolution kind of started you know chemicals were being used for the war and then after the war, when the Spanish flu hit, the war ended. And the chemical companies had this abundance of chemicals. And so they started using it for, for other things. They started using it in agriculture. They started in, using it in all the other industries. And that's really where the chemical industry started uh, booming. Yeah. You know, from World War One to World War Two. And then it just carried on through World War II with a whole nother war, whole nother type of chemicals. And then those chemicals just kept evolving from right. there. And, you know, they would do all sorts of tests and have bad batches of chemicals and they'd have to put those into storage. So soon they had like 
so much chemicals yeah, totally. stored up that they didn't know how to get rid of it. Yeah, because not every every batch of chemicals is exactly the right formula. Right. right? You have bad formulas, just yeah. like we sometimes cook bad meals and we don't put enough <laughs> <laughs> don't put enough garlic in or enough seeds well, we in don't or keep whatever. The meals though. Sure. We can just toss it. Yeah. Or compost it. With this, you can't really toss no. it because it's toxic waste. So what know? they started doing, what he said, is they they had to get rid of those chemicals. So what they did was they started dumping it in lakes, rivers, and even I think the ocean too. Mm -hmm. Um, and eventually that started showing signs of like lakes were almost dead at this point. I think he said like Lake Erie was almost completely dead. Mm -hmm. And they had to stop that and figure out a new solution. And that new solution was to slowly drop it out of the sky and release it um, in the air and let it slowly, you know, drop down. Yeah, because as it as it drops from the sky, it supposedly it was supposedly supposed to dissipate, right? Right, and not be as harmful. And if you if you do it in slow enough batches, it allows the ocean and the forest to adapt and evolve to these right. these toxic chemicals. So you're not killing everything at once like they were dumping it in the lakes and oceans and streams right. and stuff. But there's so there's like such a large amount of these chemicals that they've been slow like you know continuing to add more mm -hmm. um planes and apparently they're spraying all day all night 24 7. yeah and the the chemicals go back like 50 60 years mm -hmm. because in the 60s is when they started uh having to switch where they were dumping it so from like the 60s to today they i mean they've got to have chemicals from World War II that yeah. they're dumping on us. And it, the chemicals, they range. So, you know, one day it might be not so toxic and one day it might be extremely toxic. Um, I'll give you an example. Did you see our thumbnail when you clicked on this video? That ring around the, the sun? That was taken here, right above the farm and a few months back right? that was yeah that was a few months back and that was the second time we had seen that where it had like some weird rain around the sun and that was caused by these streaks in the sky they were spraying stuff all day long that day and then we eventually saw that that weird rain around the sun so the stuff that they're dumping on us is not uh the same stuff every single time it's yeah it's totally different every time and he even said that you know because the these chemicals are being stored for so long they start to, to develop weird viruses and bacteria and algae yeah and mold and fungi and algae and then and, that's dropping from the sky and then we're getting like these red tides and stuff which is so that's like, what causes the red tides algae blooms like these weird algae blooms that are going on in all of our rivers and streams and lakes because you got to remember when it rains everything that has dropped from the sky is now being soaked through the soil and where does it end up it ends up in our food in, in, in our food but it also ends up back in the rivers right because the and then the rivers eventually it. flow to the ocean so it's like when it rains, it's washing all these chemicals into our water sources. And then we drink that water. We grow food using that water. We grow food as these chemicals right. are dropping on La the food. Livestock eats the grass that has the chemicals. I mean, it's pretty much everything is getting contaminated. Yep. And, you know, it's might not be noticeable because it's it's not a, a big amount of chemicals that we can physically see but long term we're seeing effect, the effects and that's what Anthony continues to talk about the heavy metals they get in the body they oxidate they rust and then they cause problems and then all this stuff gets passed from generation to generation to generation yeah and, and everyone's no health is just is different. on the slow downfall though too
Yeah, no one, it. no one knows this stuff. Like, no one knows that this is going on. So, you know, this this was like very eye opening. Heavy. You know? It was a heavy episode. Heck yeah. And that's not even all of it. I think, you know, the big shock was finding out what's actually being sprayed. The other big shock was when you started talking about how it's. Also, you know, we talked about how it's affecting, like, the bodies of waters and our plants and animals and things like that, but also everything else in the environment. So this is why there's, like, flocks of birds just dropping dead because those that flock of bird was stuck behind a patch of the street in the sky. Yeah, and you got, you know, because the ocean is so massive that they could be dumping more over chemicals the over ocean. the oceans, and that's why you see uh, sea life washing up on shore. Like a whole flock, not a flock, but a batch of dolphins. That's why sea life is washing up on the shores, because of the chemtrails. And then you've got scientists running around thinking, oh, well, what's in the water, what's in the water? And not knowing that this actually happened so far out in the ocean that it's not going on around yeah. that spot but yeah. then you've got forests you know forest is so massive right mm -hmm. and anthony said that when these chemicals drop they seem to form at the base of uh, these forests and the base of trees and stuff because when the chemicals fall they get caught in the dew which is usually at kind of the bottom of the forest floor and that dew ends up kind of sticking to the forest floor, which, you know, we're in California and we're experiencing a lot of wildfires right now. And so one thing we were kind of throwing around was, well, you know, is this why the wildfires are so bad? Because these chemicals and fire just don't mix together. It's like fuel for the fires probably. Oh. Yeah. And yesterday, they were spraying. The fires are still going on. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's unbelievable. So, we talked about birds. We talked about sea life. He also said that this is the reason why bees are slowly going extinct. Mm -hmm. And he said soon after that, the dragonflies will follow and the butterflies. And eventually, there won't be any birds. There won't be any bees. There won't be any probably any insects because they're they're the ones to go first you know because they're much smaller and being affected more than say we are and we're just slowly being poisoned till we're gone there you go yeah yeah uh we did not talk about how it's also affecting the weather oh yeah yeah, yeah. so this is kind of crazy so the the chemicals being dropped on us also affect all of the weather that's been going on that's super crazy like in florida right now you're getting all these these hurricanes it's affecting that. It's, it's and it's making the hurricanes even slower which is causing more flooding i mean we experience that kind of every year um the ice caps are melting because of yeah so of these chemicals I've, I've been in solar for a long time i've always cared about the environment and, and what's going on with the environment and I was under, always under the impression that the, the, the biggest cause of climate change and global warming was, was in fact, pollution. Was, you know, the, the vehicles out on the road, the, the uh, industrial world blowing, you know, toxic fossil fuels into the sky, which is then create, you know, causing a greenhouse effect when it's these chemicals yeah, guys like the chemicals. pollution is a real deal and that's bad but the chemicals are nothing compared to the pollution yeah so these chemicals being dropped on us are causing all of the ice caps to melt at such a quick rate because mm -hmm. the fleets of these these planes are increasing every year and it's it's causing more and more pollution so Ah, the environmental impact is so, so huge. And, you know, as farmers, this affects, affects 
everything you know if the weather changes and all of a sudden you're planning on growing stuff and then the weather changes and now you can't grow those things well now you're gonna have huge crop de devastations and people aren't gonna get the food they need to heal right it's craziness yeah so probably the biggest question was like okay who is doing this yeah that's... you know why are they doing this we figured that out we just talked about the history and what's going on there but who is doing this you know right and you know why are they doing it so much i know they have to get rid of these chemicals in some way but if it's causing so much damage why do they keep doing it and why do they keep adding more planes mm -hmm. yeah there's a massive fleet of of these planes now and the planes are basically these are old like airliners from like the 60s 70s 80s 90s that they just totally gut the inside they put these tanks on the tanks are connected to a pump and then you got a switch inside the plane and these pilots are just flying and flipping on and off the switch and that's why you see a long streak and then you know a pause of a streak and then a long streak again it's them flipping on and, and off the switch right but what anthony said is this is not the government the government is not doing it's this. not any world any country's government it's some private private group private contractors hired on to do kind of the dirty work and and there's no stopping them apparently only protecting ourselves yes so <laughs> mm -hmm. this again was all very heavy information listen to the, his podcast because he goes into a greater detail of it all but you know this isn't to scare you guys it's to make you aware that it's so important and more than ever right now to really take your health into your hands like it's in your control mm -hmm. know that you have control over your health and if you just give your body feed your body the right foods and take away the foods that feed viruses bacteria and all the bad things that you're going to be okay and it's better to know what's going on that way you can protect yourself yeah and it's all about control right we don't have control of these chemicals being sprayed on us but what we do have control of is our health and putting the right things in our bodies to remove these things that are being yes, dumped on also us also remove yeah because totally. the if they are metals which <laughs> most likely they are because they're just chemical cocktails and to make chemicals involve a lot of, a lot of metal and byproduct of metal and stuff like that so this stuff gets dumped on us sits in our bodies rusts oxidates and that's why it's important to bring in a lot of fruit because you have those antioxidants which prevent the body from oxidizing yes. from rusting so the, the antioxidants are important the cell reduce is important the heavy metal detox smoothie is so important bring that in every single day and the lemon water first thing in the morning because the lemon water gently flushes the liver so all of the chemicals that were dropped on you the day before the lemon water kind of sets the Flush it out. sets the sets the bar for all those other things so it yeah. clears the liver gently and then you bring in the celery and then you bring in the heavy metals and then you eat fruit and all vegetables. day long and then you have your salad which has the mineral salts yes. and <laughs> so it's just it's this it's this this process and anthony he's laid out all this information in all of his books so you need to go out you need to read some of his books you need to listen to some older uh podcasts he did or i guess they're his radio show yeah they're on his podcast though you'll find his first episodes that are like his official uncensored ones and then it has all of his other old podcast radio shows underneath it yeah so go check those out and uh start doing these yeah. things and, and start we have doing a bunch themselves. of videos too that we lay out like what we eat in a day and we talk about celery juice so you can always go through our videos too 
and always reach out to us too if you're like i don't know where to start we can help direct you but if anything like start that celery juice and that leads us into the next episode we'll talk about the fruit fear yeah that was his we just listened to that one uh, a couple days ago you guys so. that was like another heavy one like I, it's unbelievable what <laughs> what is coming it's really important that you go and you find these podcasts and you listen to them and you share them yeah share these podcasts with everybody you know because you don't know who it's going to help exactly like you never know you post it on your social media and all of a sudden someone you haven't talked to in 10 years sees that post listens and it helps them yeah you know so you got to share <sighs> all right we got to go yep. i got to go make dinner it's getting <laughs> But this was fun. Thanks, you guys, for listening. We hope you enjoyed this. If you liked this video, please give it a like. And be sure, be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And hit that little bell to get notified every time we post a new video. And then drop us some comments. We always like hearing from you. Let us know your thoughts on all of this. Yeah, this is a good one. If you have good questions. Good one for comments. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, uh, definitely comment on this, this one because we want to hear what everybody else thought of this this uh, episode one okay we'll see you guys cool. later see ya bye